Red 2 standing by, all for Lita and in the green. Welcome to the latest episode of 12 to 25 where I am taking on a game I haven't really played very much of. Super Mario World. Probably, it's usually considered up there with Super Mario Bros. 3 as the best 2D Mario game. How well am I going to do or will I give up in frustration? Let's see how we do, I'll need to get used to the controls. This is Dinosaur Land in this strange land, we find that Princess Toadstool is missing again. Looks like Bowser is at it again. Okay, Yoshi's house. Hello, sorry but I'm not home. I I have gone to rescue my friends who were captured by Bowser. Yoshi. Okay, so... B is the normal jump, A is the spin jump, okay. Can't do very much here. Ah, Y is run faster, what does X do? Yoshi's Island 2... Yoshi's Island 1! Let's see him. Not a bad start off. I do remember this bit. And I'm... Jeez, I don't think I get much momentum. We do actually slide down the slopes, alright. Whoa! Bonsai Bill straight off the bat! They must have been really showing off with a lot of this. I do remember playing a bit of it, and I've mentioned that I thought I that I thought it was a ROM hack. Because it's like you've got You've got a Koopa sliding down a slope that can catch you off guard if you're not careful. Then you wind up getting uh, the bonsai bill coming straight at you. There are those dragon coins. Oh, I got a mushroom out of a bush for no apparent reason. Can I go down here? No. Can go down here though. I think, anyway. Mostly I'm familiar with anything Super Mario World related because of Super Mario Maker. That's just how it is. I did enjoy using that style. Whoa, I just got catapulted out of nowhere. Point of advice, you can hold an extra item in the box at the top of the screen. To use it, press the select button. Okay, I presume this is like Dinosaur Land or something. At least I think that's what it's called. So that's why we wind up uh, having all the all the dinosaurs that take two jumps to kill hanging around. Okay. But we can slide down slopes. Or just jump on them. Another bonsai bill. Okay. Pick up a shell, X or Y, okay. Then we line ourselves and just miss. Shell's got to be underneath it, okay. I thought I had more momentum than that, I was wrong. Well, we've got our checkpoint at least. Might as well at least get into some sort of fighting condition. That was pretty embarrassing. That should give you a good idea. Ah, oh, that's rough. That should give you some idea of how this is going to go. That. That just sort of came out of nowhere, right? Gee, I wonder if it was this bad for people back in the day. At least you're getting something to laugh at, and I don't have any mushrooms either. I'm not really interested in taking on a whole lot of enemies. This is... very different. That... like... I think this was why when I played it in... That was my own fault. Okay, so two things I've been caught off guard by. This could be pretty embarrassing. Of course it's not looking good. 
Okay, so use the shell to get the one up and then leave it alone. So I've accidentally jumped into a pit. And, okay, not helpful. I, I died three times trying to get that one up and it just went into a pit. Not good. Another bonsai bill. They at least give you some warning, but they do just seem to appear out of nowhere. Uh, you. Rightio. Well, that worked. That was not very good at all. This is going to be a bit of an ordeal. I'm tempted to say you really don't want to see me winding up, uh... Uh, where are we? Oh, rightio, Yellow Switch Palace. What does this do? I sort of remember it. Well, at least I got my lives back. That's something. Maybe things will be slightly less embarrassing from here on in, but ha ha ha, no. Okay, the power of the switch you have pushed will turn dotted yellow lines into solid blocks. We save as well. Oh well, not too bad. The overworld kind of looks very NES-ish in a way. I think it's designed to have that retro charm, but the sprites in the main game are pretty good anyway. Rightio, so on to Yoshi's Island 2. Let's see what we get here. Let's see if I can avoid any more catastrophically bad deaths. Well, there's a one-up. And a spare mushroom, don't leave that behind. Really don't want to lose that. Alright, so... Hey, we get Yoshi already. Hooray, thank you for rescuing me. My name is Yoshi. On my way to rescue my friends, Bowser trapped me in that egg. Alright. Yoshi can attack. Let's do a spin jump. Press the A, a Super Mario spin jump can break uh, some of the blocks and defeat some of the tougher enemies. Alright, well, we'll eat some fruit. And Yoshi defeats enemies pretty easily. Don't know what the stars do. Alright, so this is like a Yoshi training course in a sense. Come back! Thank you. Come back. All right, that's the midpoint gate. Well, we got there. We got there. So, uh, let's see. No flutter jump in this game. Rightio. So we have to be very careful about that. She turns around a fair bit, a fair bit. But he can eat power-ups, which is good. It's a monkey mole. Come back. Rightio, wrong button. I'm gonna have to remember to adjust to a few things. This is... It's different, but it's still interesting. It's very, very different to anything I've played. I mean, even Mario Maker is kind of different in that regard. All right, what's down here? Okay, so we can still jump off Yoshi. Have we got in these? Are they just all coins? Is it just teaching us uh, that we can... Uh... Well, there's a one-up. 
Is this just teaching us we can jump off Yoshi to uh, find secret exits? Because while it's not mandatory to beat the game, in some levels you do actually have to do that. I better get a move on. Are we close to the end of the level? Alright, so we can't eat the piranha plants. Alright, run over charge and shark. And what do we get? Still don't know how we get those stars. Alright, well that's not too bad, all things considered. Let's get moving on the next one. Alright, our athletic music. Nothing's up. Something's up there. Okay. The big coins of dragon. You get an e five of these in one area, you get an extra Mario. Dragon coins. I think Yoshi was meant to be like a dragon or something like that early on. Okay, so if we stand on these, I remember that much. They did... They did a heck of a lot with this game. It's admittedly very impressive. Another Yoshi. I don't really want to know what's down the gaps. I'm not really that interested in finding out. Got to remember to hold the Y button so I get extra distance on my jumps. At least we can stand on it. Oh, there's something down there. Did I... Thank you, yellow blocks. I remember... That from Mario Maker. At least I remember some things you can do because of Mario Maker. But I'm obviously not going to be very good at the game in general. What does this have to say? When you stomp on an enemy, you can jump high if you hold the jump button. Use up on the control pad to jump high in the shallow water. Uh, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. I think it's a little less finicky in uh, Mario Maker. Oh, Fire Mario. That's nice. Don't jump on... Let's see what's down here. Oh no! Uh, ah, ah. From a, from despair to elation, and then despair again. And when you die, your fancy power-ups are gone, and Yoshi is a wall too. We got anything? There's probably a mushroom in here, which means I'll need it to go. All right, so it's uh, back up to me. That's okay. Oh, oh! There's momentum. There's a lot of momentum in this. Oop. Can I... There's a lot of really interesting stuff happening here, if I'm going to be honest. A lot of it is just making me react to absolutely... In absolute terror. What on earth? Right, so that was... Simple. Okay, nothing hidden away down there. And I'm just a little slow on the jump. How much more of this are you willing to put up with? Also worth noting, uh, it's probably better for me to get the second mushroom because then at least I've got two power-ups. I, If I remember rightly, in the original version of Super Mario World, if you had, if you were Fire Mario and you took a hit, that was it. You went back to being normal, to being small Mario. I keep thinking I'm not going to make the jump. And 
and there is a lot of momentum to work with. I admit that I've never quite trusted the jumping in 2D, plat 2D Mario platforms. I don't know why, I just don't. Okay, so we got that. We've got three. Oh, you lose them when you die. We, do we have to hit the tape to get it? Oh, that's how we get the stars. They must give you an extra life. I guess so. I'm going to need all the lives we can get. Well, we'll give it a little bit more of a try. It appears to be a water level. Ah, it's one of these water levels, like the forest ones in uh, Mario Maker 2. Alright, Fire Mario. Which is usually my favourite because it means I can actually dish out a bit of damage. Because, as you've probably seen, I'm really... Is that a mine? Wish it didn't automatically use it. So yeah, I wound up suffering the indignity of losing my fire flower very quickly because I panicked a bit. There we are. Oh, that's a lot of mines. And the, I think there's a current. How do I get up here? I don't think I can. Oh! And I haven't even hit the halfway point. That sucks. This is... This could be tedious. Okay, well there's our fire flower back again, but that only gives us one hit. Do I have to go... How do I get up there anyway? Do I have to make a running jump from here, or would I have to get from Yoshi? So... Can I go down here? Yes, I can. This is... Alright, so Pokies are immune to the Fire Flower, gotcha. And of course I messed up my timing. This is scant consolation. And it just moved off the edge. So that was interesting. It's a, presumably a bit of a shortcut, but I just sort of died. Okay. Well, we get a bit of extra momentum in the water using the shell. Did it just turn around and decide to come after me for no reason? I don't really know what happened there. So I've learned something interesting. Pokies are apparently fireproof. There are very dangerous mines in the water. That didn't help, not in the slightest. Oh, that would have been useful. Well, that, that was actually very helpful indeed. Oh, oh, jump, jump! That lasted a little bit longer, the star lasted a little bit longer than I thought. Okay, good, one up. Should be nearly finished. So, bonus stars if you cut the tape, if you collect 100 bonus stars you can play a fun bonus game. Missed it. Well, I think we're close to finishing this, so we might as well keep going. 
Well, there's the first castle, so we'll finish off this litany of failure by going to Iggy's castle. In we go. That's not me controlling that. Alright, um... Press up on the control pad while jumping and you can cling to the fence. Use up to go in the end door. Wait, we can punch things? The... Maybe things that are on the other side to us. Like that, yeah. So it's like, it's basically like Super Mario Sunshine in that regard. Oh, they like over, they wind up looping around. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's supposed to be a mushroom. Oh, that's how I get it. Alright, wait for the uh, potter bird to go past and on we go. Alright, so I have to flip around. Right. Land. Jump. Punch, punch, punch don't want to turn around and go to the other side. There's a lot I don't trust about this. Alright, halfway point. One of Yoshi's friends is trapped in the castle by Iggy Cooper. To defeat him, push him into the lava pool. I'm going to do badly at this. Okay, giant piston... Fighting Smitty? We can at least run ahead of it. Whoa! Watch out for the sledgehammer! And in we go. Can I use fireballs on him? I think we have to jump on him on a gradually tilting platform. I remember having trouble with this because. Wait, he's immune to my fireballs, isn't he? Oh, the timing is... The timing is so fiddly. And if you're not precisely on top of them, then you just sort of die. The finicky hitbox... I don't really like the finicky hitboxes in this. And I'm going in with, like, one... Well, with essentially two hits. And I didn't do very well with... Absolutely... Mario, if you don't mind. There we go. Now we can go in. I remember having a lot of trouble with this because... You can't really fight him... I, I'm going to have to get a frame by frame on that and see exactly where I am when I'm trying to land on it. He's immune to your fire. Fl He's immune to fire fl to the fire flower, which is a pain in the backside, and the platform tilts so quickly that it's very, very difficult to push him in. At least I think so, anyway. I, I remember just wondering, wait, this isn't how the boss fight's supposed to work, right? Is this a ROM hack? And yeah, that time I definitely missed, but the platform always tilts so fast that... Like, by the time you think you've... If you don't bounce... I think if you don't bounce high enough off him, you'll probably wind up dying because you'll crash into him, but if you do bounce too high off him, then you're going to die! I should have died then. Then you're going to wind up dying because, well, you won't be able to kill him in time and he'll eventually hit you. Kind of miss the Koopalings of your Wii when you could just... 
So this is, these are their first appearances, and, well, no, second appearances. And it just tilts you out of the way. Gah! Jump! Okay, so explain how that killed me when the other side didn't. Well, that worked well enough, I guess. And there, well, there we go. That was... Frustrating, to put it lightly. Thank you, and we get to blow up the castle with a giant sound effect that reads bomb. Mario has defeated the demented Iggy Cooper in castle number one and yet rescued Yoshi's friend who is still trapped in an egg. Together, they now travel to Donut Land. Well, this is where I'm going to wind up wrapping things up for this particular episode. If you want to see me suffer, then leave some comments and we'll see how we go on the rest of this. Thank you very much for joining me. Till next time, this is Red2, returning to base.